Okay, so the, the next step now is to go up to this guy here, uh, discovery and, uh, and configuration. Right, so, okay, so we open this guy up, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import in all of my, um, my, my S7 values, right? Uh, and I'm gonna do that from the actual S7 project file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for, um, it's already after coming up. Right, uh, I've got uh, on my desktop. Right, and then I actually have my uh, digital I/O uh, S7 program. Right, that's currently on the PLC as it is right now. And then what I want to do is I want to open up this S7P file. Right, so I just literally go for that. Hit next. Right, finish. Now what happens is that I get all of the of the the relevant values. Right, so basically it's data blocks and symbols. Right. Now I'm only really interested uh, in one as such, right? In there, uh, just this guy DB1 test pool. But look, what the heck? It doesn't matter. I'll just select all of them, right? Or will I actually? I'll just okay. I'll literally just uh, select that guy. He's all right. So now what I'm going to do is right. Um, I am going to just transfer the name across, right? Then I'm going to say that it is a digital input, right? One. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the actual uh, S7A driver itself. Well, the auto create is off. address there come in and now I'm going to add it. Perfect. Okay, so when I get this green guy it means that it, it literally has looked at the S7 driver, it's looked at all of the um, values and so on that are uh, configured with it. Now I had the S7 driver off during this time, I already had it configured and then I turned it off and this is actually an important thing to do as well. I But basically what I've done is I just imported in See Siemens S7 Discovery Agent. Just take a look at my file. Takes a look at all my data block values and my and my symbols as well. I, this is a very very simple program. So this thing is heaven. If you had some uh, an SM400, a huge distributed system, and then you would literally had iFix then controlling it. You literally just import in your file, and everything comes up. And it's it's a fantastic thing in in that respect. And then just literally it uh, this program as well. It takes a look at the um, it takes a look at the the S7 driver side and then literally just comes up with uh, equipment names and all that kind of stuff you know so that's literally been imported in there right now so I'm just going to literally close that down, do you want to save it? Uh, I'll just say I'll just say no okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the um, database manager in itself right? so you just come up open local node and I should see my actual value as it stands there right now right? so one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, to modify this guy right and just the important thing here right just advanced and then I the important thing here is enable output okay so we'll see that it's actually at that now So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run the S7A driver, right? So where are we now? We are the S7A power tool. Okay. Very good. And I have this guy again set up. I'm just going to take a look at that there. Okay. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, quickly, I'm just going to shut this guy off and just making sure that this guy is, is on the SMA driver is running now. I'm just going to put her down, right? And what I'm going to do is go back to my main screen, right? And what I've created is uh, a really simple um, a really simple uh, front screen, right? So I'm just going to click on that guy, right? Enable on off, right? And now I'm just going to go uh, workspace, switch to run, right? So this guy is running right now. Now, 
what I'm going to do is then I'm going to pull up this guy I'm going to minimize it down a bit smaller right so now but this guy you see it's, it's after triggering so what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to make this guy a bit smaller there we are perfect all right so you can see that literally we have on off you'll see this guy will change from uh, I uh, open to close. Right, and then if I just swing this guy around, you'll see then that almost it's very instantaneous. In fact, the delay is actually up around this area here. This actually appears an awful lot slower. This is just purely about refreshing. So it is fast enough. In terms of what I can and can't do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to switch configure, right? And just so anyone who's familiar with Excel, I'd be fairly familiar with Excel VBA. I will just take a look at the actual script. So what I'm doing here is I'm just literally looking at the um, I'm literally just looking at the, uh, the the VBA script itself, the click event for a button, button one, button two. They were the automatic names of these guys right here on this form. And then basically what I'm doing is I'm literally just, you see DB1 test pool, test pool one right here. If you take a look at it, DB1 test pool one, that's in the actual IFIX uh, tag database itself. Literally just monitoring those values, setting it from zero to one. Very, very simple. So. There, what I, what I just want to do is I just want to recap on everything right now, right? So what I want to say is that I have this guy here, and this is literally just looking at a DB1, which was inside uh, the, the, the PLC right down here. And basically, if I go on a data monitor itself, I can add all kinds of different variable tables, uh, sorry, variable tables that I can, I can add into it. But basically, when this guy is running, right, it's continually taking a look it's continually taking a look at, sorry, it's continually taking a look at uh, this guy right here. It looks at the exact address continually and it looks for modifications on either side right now. Now I'm going to, I'm going to go into much more detail maybe at, at a later stage, I uh, but hopefully anyone who's literally, if, if they know that they have to deal with uh, a seven, they know they have to use iFix as an actual SCADA and they're looking at the, the a quick kind of a summary within 15 minutes of trying to fully understand how am I going to get uh, this guy talking to an iFix SCADA you know hopefully this video should have um, pointed you in the right direction what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually uh, do a whole series of videos on uh, the, the iFix side I'm going to heavily concentrate on the VBA and uh, then that's going to be completely separate then to um, the the S7 videos that I've done, and then what I might do as a later stage is uh, do an actual project where maybe um, I can't fit a skid on my desk, but uh, I'll take. A